Hey, what's up guys? Bajiri here. So yesterday was Sunday for me and I got the chance to do some Sunday deadlifts. And deadlifts are an exercise that I have always very firmly believed in and really enjoyed. But uh, for a couple weeks there when we were traveling around, I sort of got out of the habit of doing deadlifts. But then for the past couple weeks, I've been working them back in. But still, you know, that compounded with uh, the dieting process. I feel like my form on deadlifts has gotten a little bit weird. Most of my strength is still there. I mean, obviously I don't have the unbridled power of all the calories that you get while you're bulking, but uh, it's all good. Still got some uh, some good reps in today. And uh, went all the way up to a few just singles of uh, 405. Didn't feel like I needed to go any heavier than that. And that was feeling pretty heavy, to be honest. So, did my main sets, my, my little warm-ups with 225 here. Then transitioned over to 275, as we'll see in a moment. And then I did most of my work today on the deadlifts in between uh, 315 and 365. And my rep range for those weights was about anywhere from 6 to 8 reps. You know, 8 when the, when it's a little bit lighter, you know, getting down to 6 uh, when it gets a little bit heavier. But still, I like to keep my reps still a little bit higher just because I feel like it gives me a chance to control the weight better and get a better, you know, feel for the exercise, get a better stretch and squeeze going on. And I was trying to work on my form because, like, right off the bat, I was feeling like, you know, things were a little bit weird with my deadlift. Not being as much in practice, I think, definitely sort of hurt the how, how comfortable I was with the exercise. I mean, everything ended up feeling fine. It wasn't, wasn't like, you know, hurting my back. I was feeling pretty solid with what I was doing, but I just realized that my form probably wasn't as uh, solid as it had been in the past. But that's okay. We'll get back there. And the only way to do that is to, you know, <laughs> do some deadlifts and get everything back in, in working order. But these deadlifts were the beginning of a back workout that I did, and I sometimes do deadlifts on leg day, I sometimes do deadlifts on back day, and today I, I started my workout with a deadlift and felt good enough to train back, so it was a really good workout, because this was a workout after my uh, my refeed day uh, on Saturday, so it was fun to hit to hit maintenance calories, get some more carbs in on, uh, on Saturday, but one of the things I'm actually going to do is I've been doing low carb for, uh, for a long time, you know, about a month or so. And uh, what, I'm, what I'm thinking about doing now is, after the beach especially, but uh, basically I was doing my first little dieting phase for uh, just, go, just going to the beach, just just being a narcissistic, <laughs> want to look good, feel good at the beach, so get that body fat lowered down a little bit, but one of the things I'm thinking is that I, I do like low carb, and it makes me feel pretty good, but one of the things that I, I want to uh, keep in mind is that I don't want to just do low carb for a super long time. And uh, what I'd like to try is uh, to keep my calories low, but increase my carbohydrates. So I'm going to be bringing my fat down, even bringing my protein down a little bit, and bumping my carbs up. And I'm going to do that leading into the uh, leading into this week going to the beach, because I want to do that for a couple reasons. I want to, you know, switch my body over. I don't want to be, you know, putting it under the stress of, of low carb for too long. Even though, honestly, this has been the easiest diet yet. This has been very, very comfortable. I've really enjoyed the foods I've been able to eat, and I felt good. But, you know, I'm going to switch up just a little bit. I think I'm going to increase my carbs, um, like I said, decrease my fats, decrease my proteins, to help uh, help my muscles fill out a little bit more, maybe to help me have a different kind of energy, and just to sort of confuse, maybe just confuse my metabolism a little bit, honestly. I feel like I might be settling into this diet a little bit, and that, that's fine, you know, but I don't know. I'm the kind of guy where I will definitely, you know, I understand it's important to stick to something, stick to a diet in order to see progress, but going to the beach, I'd like to fill out a little bit, Give my uh, give my body a little bit more carbs to work with, and I can do both of those things while still in a pretty serious caloric deficit. And I've already mapped everything out. You know, I continue to be able to eat foods I like. My macros line up just about perfectly. And man, I, <laughs> if you guys are like me, when you guys like you know make up a diet for yourself and all, and all your macros work perfectly with foods you like to eat, that is such a good feeling. So I'm gonna be able to eat foods that I enjoy and uh, hit my macros the way I want to, and hopefully fill out a little bit more before the beach because definitely that low carb can leave you feeling flat, but uh, we'll see how it goes, guys. Just wanted to share these deadlifts with you because my camera did die after this set, but that's all right. Still glad to share some deadlifts with you guys, keep you updated on uh, what's going on with me and my training and dieting. Hope everything is going well with you guys and your fitness journeys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!